Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Will. Welcome to Real Robots. On this episode, we're going to take a look at a 3D scanner and how we can utilize this to customize Halloween and cosplay pieces that we can 3D print. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back. 3D scanning has been around for a long time. It's been used in industrial applications where you want to scan an object and then reverse engineer it and then you can alter it in some way or make a new part. Uh, we're gonna use it in more of an uh, artistic way today. We're going to uh, be scanning heads and bodies, and then we're gonna take those parts, bring them in the computer, and use those as forms to design uh, custom parts for Halloween or cosplay that will fit exactly to that person. So before we start doing any scanning, let's take a look at the specs. The EinScan H has two scan modes and designed for human bodies and faces. It uses a hybrid structured light and infrared. You can capture faces with eyes open and hard to detect dark surfaces. So let's take a look at what comes in the box. We have a calibration panel, a USB drive containing the software, and some sticky dots, which can be useful for planar or flat surfaces to help you align the surfaces. The scanner itself, the scanner requires a good powerful computer and my laptop just makes it into the minimum requirements. You're gonna to wanna to have a lot of RAM and a powerful CPU. Now you simply plug in the two cords in the back of the scanner, plug it into an empty USB slot, install the software from the USB drive. The first thing you need to do is get the scanner calibrated. It's really simple to do. Software leads you all the way through the process, step by step. The software is called X-Scan, and it's really well thought out and super easy to use. It's got several scanning modes. One is for human bodies, one faces, and then also one for objects. Once the scanner is calibrated, I decided to run my first scan on a skull. This skull became the inspiration for this entire project. In makeup effects, we use silicone to make a copy of a head. Sometimes it's a little bit messy, sometimes it's a little overwhelming for the person underneath the silicone, and very difficult for kids to go through this process. So, scanning to the rescue. After scanning the skull, I kind of got a grasp of the functions that I needed to use and proceeded to scan my kids. I placed a rubber cap over their heads to flatten down their hair. I also pulled the cap over their ears because the ears weren't important. I just wanted to get their volume, but their actual shape wasn't important. After I successfully scanned the kids, I decided to do a body, and this was a bit more challenging. I had a couple of attempts before I kind of figured out exactly how to do it, but I ended up doing the body, and then I additionally grabbed scans of the head and the hand separately, and then attached them in ZBrush. Now that I have all the scans done, I bring them into ZBrush and start cleaning them up, getting rid of any kind of weird anomalies. Once the scans are cleaned up, they're ready to start building and sizing custom models on. I might add that the scans are in real world sizes. What's that mean? That means that when we bring that model into ZBrush, the actual size of the model is accurate down to sub-millimeter level. As an example, I can use this full body to size up the armor exactly to her size. Then when the parts are sent to the 3D printer, the resulting parts would be a perfect match. For my kids, I wanted to make an articulated skull that they could wear, maybe for Halloween. Since the kids' heads are different sizes, I can size up the skulls to match each one of them. Then I can also create tabs for the jaw so that they can open their jaw and the skeleton will also open its jaw at the same time. Thanks to the EinScan H scanner, each mask is a custom fit. Now it's time to print the files. I'll send them out to my new frozen Sonic Mega printer. Now it was time to start priming the masks and getting them ready with the rub and buff metallic waxes.
have to say this is an astounding piece of technology. It really is. If you're an artist that has a budget to buy something like this, I would highly recommend it if you do a lot of virtual stuff inside the computer. This thing is an incredible tool. I think that's the end of this review for the EinScan H3D Scanner. Absolutely want to thank Shining for sending this out to me. They're the manufacturer of the scanner. They let me have it for two months and I've been using it on everything. That's it. We'll see you next time on Real Robots.